Falcon 9, security flight pressures. D minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is clear the towers. You see, move to section 10.59 to secure the pad. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Vehicle pitching down range. Falcon 9 power is one tree nominal. And Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering the TICOM-8 satellite to a geostationary transfer orbit. Coming up in about 15 seconds here, we're going to be entering through max Q. It's maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's one of the highest stress states on the vehicle. The vehicle is over 200 feet tall. Just passed through Max Q. Stage one propulsion is still nominal. Entire rocket plus satellite is over 1.2 million pounds. Falcon All nine of those engines capable of putting out 1.71 million pounds of thrust. Put all into capacity. A 26-story building weighs over 300 cars. Now coming up in about 30 seconds, we're going to have main engine... Recovery drive. vessel has AOS. AOS being acquisition of signal, that means that the recovery uh, drone ships have reached communication contact with our rocket. In 20 seconds, we're going to have main engine cutoff, or MECO. Followed three seconds after that by stage separation, which is done by four pneumatic actuators three on the perimeter of the inner stage and one in the center. And then after that, we're going to have second stage engine start. You just heard about the second stage engine itself is chilling down and get ready for ignition. And we have main engine cutoff. Stage separation. Stage separation looks good. And it looks like we have a good ignition of a second stage engine. Stage one is ending its flip. Now coming up, the first stage itself, in about 20 seconds here, is going to be uh, igniting for its entry burn. That's going to start to slow the vehicle down before we hit the atmosphere. Uh, it reached its apogee um, about two minutes ago, uh, over 100 kilometers. You're actually seeing there that view of the second stage falling back to the Earth. Those white puffs are our attitude control systems powering off some cold nitrogen uh, gas. Uh, as well as those grid fins are uh, angled outwards to guide you in. And you just heard the entry burn has started. This entry burn will last for about 20 seconds. We're going to be guiding it through the entire way back to, of course, I still love you, the drone ship. Uh, it should shut off in about 10 seconds or so. Everything here is looking good. Nominal temperatures and engine pressures as well. Stage and we'll one, good entry shutdown. burn is shut down. And now we will be keeping that vehicle aligned as we head ourselves back to the drone ship, leading up to a landing burn uh, in about a minute and a half from now with the goal of touching down at 834. Now, this is normal to see the, uh, the cloudiness in the lens. We're coming back to the atmosphere. Uh, those cameras themselves will be uh, obfuscated and then cleared as we come through the atmosphere. So we'll be showing you as many views as we can. 
So as you just heard from JFED, the re-entry burn of the first stage is complete. That's when the first stage slows itself down just as it hits the top of the atmosphere so it doesn't damage its engines with the intense heat of re-entry. Now we don't ship any less on the drone ship. You can see it on your screen right there. Uh, it is possible we might cut out for a second. Uh, the vibration of the engines can sometimes uh, shake the satellite link a little bit, uh, but we hope to give you full video through. You'll be able to see the landing burn of the first stage just on the top of your screen. Stage one landing burn has started. Exactly. You can see it on your screen there. What first stage actually does is it runs one engine, then three, then one to slow it down. And that's what you're about to see into frame here. Everything still continues to look good, and we have shutdown of the second stage engine. And it looks like we are in a good orbit as we planned to, to target for today's TICOM satellite. And it is really high up there. 35,000 kilometers, like we were saying earlier, is so high up that the orbital rotation matches the Earth's rotation. So from the perspective of someone on the ground, it looks like a star in the sky. That means you can point your dishes at it. There's actually a, uh, an animation right here that shows exactly where it's going. That was our first second stage burn. You can see the first stage landing. Uh, fairing deploy, and then what just happened a few seconds ago was the second stage second burn, that just happens right there. And then uh, the final payload deploy, uh, the TICOM-8 satellite, is coming up in just a few minutes here, so it can achieve its final 35,000 kilometer geostationary orbit. So what you're about to see is a forward-facing camera view from the top of the second stage. You'll be able to see the TICOM-8 satellite, and hopefully if everything goes well, we'll see that satellite gently push away, uh, floating off in the zero gravity of orbit, so that it can do its own health checks and deploy its own solar panels. That should be coming up in just a few seconds here. And it sounds like... As you can see the TICOM-8 satellite gliding away. So that is TICOM-8 separated from SpaceX's second stage to do its multi-month mission to geostationary orbit.